Kate Mary. She teaches a graphic design course at the University of Northtown. After hearing about e-portfolios from other colleagues, Mary's decided to start using Mahara as an e-portfolio system within her course and also as a means of recording her continuing professional development. Using her e-portfolio, Mary can collect and capture information from all the activities that she performs and collate the information in a single location. For example, she'll use her e-portfolio to house her research journal, document all the training courses that she's attended and record all of her qualifications. She'll also use it to document conferences attended and bookmark or evidence journals and papers that she's read. One of the research projects that Mary's involved with involves a number of colleagues that work in other regional universities. Mahara provides them with the space and flexibility to work in a collaborative environment where they can share documents, make use of other forums to discuss their projects and present the research as it develops. Mary also uses Mahara on a number of courses that she delivers at the University of Northtown. Students are required to display images of their design work and to document the work and websites of other designers and artists who influence their work by bookmarking and keeping a reflective journal. She's able to provide feedback to this work within Mahara, enabling her students to continually improve the quality of their work. In film and TV production, we've been using ePortfolios for just over a year now. We found it really useful because beforehand we were using paper portfolios which were huge documents and we wanted to find more imaginative and innovative ways of students being able to highlight and evidence their engagement on the course. It's a great opportunity to be able to give feedback as well to students on how they're getting on. So it's not just about, oh, how are they doing when they hand in their assignment at the end of a module, it's actually how are they getting on at the beginning and then being able to give them feedback which feeds forward to those assignments and really helps them learn and develop. Mary also encourages students to work collaboratively by creating group assignments and forums. Using Mahara in this way, Mary is able to formatively assess a student's work. This is Mark, one of the students on Mary's course. He's a busy man with a hectic social life in addition to studying for his degree. Being organised is important to Mark, as he really appreciates being able to gather evidence from all his modules and store it in Mahara. Mark is also the president of the University of Northtown's Film Society, and he's decided that using Mahara will be a perfect platform to administer and manage the society and provide an accessible online presence. Mark decides to create a film society group in Mahara where members can use the forum to discuss favourite films and directors and what films they'd like to see at the next social event. Members of the group can also create pages and include information on relevant topics, for example, film genres or associated film and TV events which are up and coming. Information can be gathered from a variety of resources presented in Mahara. Mark intends to use a newsfeed to keep the group up to date with current affairs in film and TV and he also plans to insert film clips from YouTube to provide engaging content that can facilitate members' discussions. I found it really helpful in helping me to learn how to use, um, sort of how to set up a website in a way because the ePortfolio is very much set up as a website so you're learning how to create pages, how to um, upload media, how to um, incorporate like YouTube videos or Vimeo videos or images that you've got from different sources. Um, so I found it really helpful in that respect because I can learn how to, how to, how to do that. During his time at university, he has collected a lot of information about himself as he's used Mahara to store this information. He can now create pages which display customised information to showcase his work to prospective employees or different groups of people. Both Mark and Mary can continue to use Mahara to evidence their continuing professional development and it's a web-based application so they can access it from anywhere with an internet connection and update their information accordingly.